Well, Alberta's Ralph Klein looks, of course, like he may be on a winning streak. Our next guest, however, is not, definitely not. John Turmel has lost 54 elections in a row. That is a world record. He thinks he can do better, or worse, depending on which way you look at it. He wants to crank up his losing streak to 55. John Turmel joins me from Ottawa. Oh, look at you with your cap here. I'm wondering, sir, if you have a tattoo and if it says loser, and if you do, why you'd ever want to be known as one. Well, actually, it's 52 elections I've lost. This is my 53rd I'm in right now. Okay, so we upped you a couple. Right, right. <laughs> but uh, no, it wasn't because I wanted to lose. I've been pushing the same program for all these elections, and uh, I'm starting to have some great success. Yeah, but do you kind of get the point, you know, that, that you are losing? Well, yeah, but the point is most elections are a little bit fixed, and I, I don't get very much media, and therefore I'm going to do my, you know, I don't feel bad when I lose. So as long as I can uh, push my message, that's the key. But you know what? You're, you're, what? you're a professional poker player, right? Yes, I am. I'm going to assume that you play that to win. Yes, I do. So if you've lost 52 elections, aren't you sort of going up against odds here that are greater than even yourself, sir? Well, you would think it depends on the payoff. If I win one time in 52, but I win $80, and I only lose one time every other 51 losing cards, I'm yeah. a winner. So okay. it depends on the money odds. I'm saying if I ever got elected, what the Canadians would win was so big that it's worth the gamble. Have you ever been close? Well, actually, I'm close right now. I got an opportunity. I mean, for all this career, I managed to get into the anthology of great Canadian characters and the Guinness Book of Records. And Maybe the, that's why you're doing it. And the media have a lot of fun with stuff like Super Loser Fails Again. This was when I lost to Sheila Copps in 1996. But exactly one month after this headline, the Hamilton Spectator announced Hamilton Self-Help Group starts up Hamilton Lex. Now, you must have heard about Lex systems. These are the barter currency. Yeah. Toronto's got the Toronto dollar system. Now, oh, wow. Lexman opened it up. Guelph dollars, Vancouver Lex, Edmonton Lex. Boy, well, you've got all the props there. They're all over the world, these Lex. And I got a chance to propose them at the U.S. Yeah, but you're not making a difference here. You're not winning. I'm on the Millennium Declaration <laughs> of the United Nations to set up a time-based currency. It's a victory. Okay, what you are winning is the, are, is the media attention, of course. You know this. And yet you are winning. Here you are on CBC Morning. This is a national program on CBC Television. So many people are on the United the Nations morning. Millennium Declaration. Who are you the C6? Who, who are you proudest of being up against, John? I'm proudest of having having gotten to the United Nations and drafted resolution C6 of the Millennium <laughs> Declaration. That That's me. That could be your own little red book that you keep floating up there. And for that's free loan. That's all I ever talk about. So tell me who you've been up against that you uh, love to. Well, Sheila Copps, uh -huh. Ryan Mulroney, uh, Mac Harvey, and the Ottawa politicians. And you're up against, uh, well, Ernie Eves is leaving, of course, that's because right. that's why you're Perry so Sanders. So the whole crew of and Perry Sanders. Yeah, what are your chances? Should well, I be betting on you if I was a betting person? Well, you'd need long odds, okay? Get a thousand to one anyway. <laughs> so, but it's not zero. That's the point. That's right. Well, you know what? I might be betting on that, but I certainly won't be playing poker with you, okay? Okay. John Tremella, thank you for your time. Thank you.